The exorcist is universal. Possession happens all over the world. I've grown up with a fascination of religions of all sorts, and this was an opportunity to explore possession through a variety of perspectives. They wanted to make sure when they were portraying different communities of faith that they were portraying it accurately. The exorcist is close to real experiences that people have had. One of the oldest religious beliefs that we can find archaeologically are ancestral possession, ancestral spirits that visit you after death. You would look to ancestors, you would look to spirits for guidance. The fact that some of them could be malevolent is extraordinarily common. You think they got possessed by the devil? Possession, oppression, pagans and Wiccans. We'll talk about energy attacks. A lot of focus on demons. When I rested my hand upon her head, I felt nothing but pain. Getting rid of them is exorcism. Wherever those girls went, they brought something back with them. There are rituals for it in every religion, in every culture. You have some experience with possession. Yes, more than I'd like. Victor's put church and faith behind him. The other parents have faith, they have community. I believe that's the way evil works, is to take you apart and to sow division. If our children are possessed by the same entity and you think differently than I do, how do we work together? Is that Catherine's heartbeat? They're beating in sync. One girl lives, one girl dies. This movie is asking a lot about the power of suggestion, about faith.